At Specific, we are developing functional coatings that can be used to create buildings capable of generating and storing all the energy they need without connection to the grid. Some of these technologies are demonstrated in the active classroom situated on Swansea University Bay campus. This classroom produces and stores all the energy it needs for both heating and electrical demand. My area of research is printed photovoltaics. The aim of this is to deposit materials using low-cost printing techniques. This film demonstrates how we can make a screen-printed solar cell using near-infrared sinting technique in order to cure the layers much more quickly than using conventional heating. Clean glass is used that has a conductive oxide layer on it to act as a front electrode. We use a plasma cleaner, but a toothbrush and water also works. A compact layer of titanium dioxide is deposited by spraying in order to ensure that the solar cell has the correct diode characteristics. Onto this layer, semiconducting nanoparticles are screen printed in order to collect the electrons. This layer is dried using a hot air oven, similar to a hairdryer. A second layer of nanoparticles, this time insulating, is printed on top. These nanoparticles prevent a short circuit between the top and bottom electrodes of the solar cell. Usually these layers would need to be heated at temperatures greater than 400 degrees C for over an hour in order to sinter the nanoparticles together. By using near-infrared technology, the processing time is reduced to less than 12 seconds. This is because the material is tuned to absorb the electromagnetic radiation in the near-infrared region. Rather than heating the air in an oven, which then heats the material, the material directly absorbs the energy, heating much faster and more efficiently. The top carbon contact is also screen printed and heated again by near-infrared heating, reducing the processing time by a further 30 minutes compared with the standard process. Once the three printed layers have been heat treated, the active material, which absorbs the photons, can be added. This is done by dropping salt solution into the cell and then converting it into the active perovskite material by immersion in methyl ammonium iodide solution. The cell is now ready to be tested and gives equivalent performance to a conventionally heated cell.